Hey guys, so today I want to take a quick look here at a Cydia tweak uh, that will make you be able to launch apps from the lock screen uh, on your iPhone if you have been jailbreaking it. So uh, this Cydia tweak is called Swipey uh, with the Y at the end there, swipe and then Y at the end. Uh, so swipe A, swipe A, swipe A. So it basically looks like this. Oh wait, it's like, oh yeah, by the way, in, in terms of compatibility test here, it doesn't seem like it is working at the moment uh, on the 5S. But we do have some other phones here. Uh, we do have the 5C here, so you just take a look at it. Uh, so you can see here I can just swipe instantly. And you can see that I, I've added some apps in here. And what if I wanna open something up, I just wait and it will fire that up, uh, that app up. So just very, very simple. You can, no. Yeah, you need to swipe to the right side here. So use a simple little swipe. And then if you don't wanna launch anything, you can just instantly go back like this and nothing's going to happen. So pretty nice. Uh, you can see I have a few apps in here to see how many it was. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, you just go back. It just goes back if you continue on, it seems. So you can see that they have the, that little icon there in the middle, but let's say you don't wanna have those kind of apps, those like default apps. And you just go down here then into the settings after you've installed it. You go down and you can see you can have six different apps and you can see it's from Tyler Nettle Tom, it seems. Uh, so you just tap here, first app, let's say you just wanna bring up the, so you just wanna have Cydia there. Second, maybe, I don't know, maps maybe if you use it a lot. Third app, calculator. I mean, you can just customize it pretty quick. Just wanna have quick access to some stuff. And now you can see you can get quick access here to all of these various apps. And it's pretty goddamn useful. Uh, you can see it just quickly loads up there. So yeah, just a quick little look at that. You can see also here in terms of compatibility test, I can't get it to work at the moment, it seems on the 5S, maybe they will update it here in the near future. Uh, but you can see here, um, that's just because this one probably has 64 bit. You can see fully working here uh, also uh, on the iPhone 5 which is some great stuff. And then we do have, of course, the iPhone 4S. Little glitchy buttons there, but fully working. Just loads up there. Of course, a little bit slower because it's a 4S. And then we do have the, uh, the iPhone 4 here. And you can also see that that one also has support for this. So pretty great stuff. You can see some glitches sometimes, maybe a little bit more here on the iPhone 4 because it's so old. But uh, yeah, just a quick little look here. Hopefully you did enjoy. Peace out.